Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to measure your amplifier power without making a noise with a traditional speaker like this one. When you live in a normal flat like this one and you've got neighbors all around you just cannot start the measurement like 10 o'clock because you'll bring police pretty quickly. So, how you do this? What you need is actually a voltimeter, standard stuff, nothing fancy. This is what you use uh, all the time uh, for measurement. But instead of this speaker, you can use a thing like this. This is called dummy load, and uh, this is a set of resistors joined together to bring 8 ohms here. So actually, it is a good substitute of this one, of course, for measurement. Moreover, a traditional speaker cannot give you a constant uh, resistance over the whole frequency range. It starts with one resistance at the low end of frequency you play, and it finishes with the, uh, the other one at the high frequency range. So your measurement will vary on frequency you use in your amplifier for the measurement. This is not, not going to happen with a traditional resistor. It keeps the resistance no matter what frequency you amplify with this guy here. So, how you do it? Okay, first of all, you have to set your multimeter for AC. Secondly, you hook up your your dummy load to the output of your amplifier. So I'm gonna connect these guys here all together to make the amplifier think that the standard speaker is on its output. Next, what you need is any kind of sinus waves generator. I use the one from uh, Room Equalization Wizard, but this is of your choice. What you need is actually to generate 50 Hz sine wave. Why it's 50 Hz? Because most cheap multimeters, like mine, can measure voltage only at this frequency and they uh, don't really do it correctly with uh, different ones. Next, you hook up your computer to your amplifier. Now, without distortion, put all the places you can increase your volume in your computer and in your amplifier all the way up. The usual places are the guy in here, probably the place over here, remember about distortion, and the place in here, all the way up. Also put the frequ frequency uh, crossover all the way up when you're dealing with subwoofer amplifier. At this point, you're all set. And finally, it's time to take the measurement. Switch it on. It reads 20 volts at 8 ohms, all right? Switch it off. So, let's do the mathematics. The formula for calculating power would look like this in our case. So, we had like 20 volts at 8 ohms. That would give 400 volts because this is square. Um, divided by 8 ohms, so altogether we get 50 watts of power. The producer says my amplifier is 120. As you can see, this is not true. A real RMS power would be 50 watts. Alright, this is how you do it. It gets quite hot after the measurement. Wow, it's like 50 or 60 Celsius degrees.